Swiss politics. So, Anya, you are from Switzerland? Yes, exactly. So, I thought we would talk a little about your country. Okay. Um, first of all, what do you like most about being Swiss? Um, actually, what I like the most about Switzerland is that um, the country is neutral. So, that means that um, we have an army. But um, we don't have war with uh, any country. We go abroad to support people and to help people if there's some sort of uh, war and so, or some trouble abroad, but we don't fight against any country. And so when there's a, a major conflict, you don't take a side? That's exactly. In this. How about, so are, are Swiss people very political? Like, are they... In terms of your country, like, are they very involved in politics? Yes, actually you have to, especially young people are very, very involved in politics as well. And, um, like, we have votes and whatnot, like, every month there's something we have to give our vote, and um, people always do it. It's really amazing. I like that a lot. Wait a minute, you vote every month? Yeah, for some for some local things or prefectural things, and we always get the stuff back home in the mail, and then we have to fill it out, you know, tick a yes or a no, and bring it to the, how do you say? Um, like the post office? or Send. Vote. Wow, so it's like a referendum. It's about some local yes, issue. Yes, exactly. Like ref referendums for, yeah, for the prefecture, for your city, or for your village, all the time. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Now, are these issues that you take time to, to look into, or do you just kind of guess? Well, it depends a little bit. Like, uh, if it's not of very big importance, like, of course, everything is important, but um, then, you know, you just do what you feel is the right thing, and you just take a yes or no. But if you feel like it's a, a really big deal, like a lot of money is being invested or um, or it's like something that concerns the whole country, then of course you will do like research on it and well it's on the news anyway, so you they like the government informs you a lot and you get brochures like for the topics and so yeah. Oh, it's that's... a really big deal. <laughs> Speaking of Switzerland. Okay. Now, also, your country is really famous for having different regions, correct? You have three main regions? Oh, we have four. Four, okay. Actually. Could you talk about them? Yes, um, we have four regions, and this is actually concerns the language, the languages, which um, we have four official languages. It's German, um, French, Italian, and Romance. And actually, the last one, uh, Romance, it um, became an official language just like 12 years ago. And uh, only a little part of the Swiss population can speak Romance, actually, but it just sort of became an official, an official language some years ago. And um, yeah, well, the country is really small, and we sometimes have some troubles communicating to each other, but usually people talk like at least two languages, so it works out most of the time. So in your country, you don't have one uniform language that everybody speaks? No, we don't. Like, we have a Swiss, but um, Swiss is only being used in the German-speaking part of Switzerland, which means, like, we don't actually use German when we talk. It's only for writing. But um, when we talk to each other, to our parents, to our teachers, we use Swiss. So... Swiss is closest to German. It's Germanic. Yes, you can say that, but it's very difficult for German people to understand us when we're talking, actually, because it's really fast and uh, really cute language, <laughs> apparently. Yes. Now, um, what what is the percentage breakdown? Like, what percentage is French, Italian, etc.? I couldn't tell you the percentage, but um, the biggest part is German, uh, followed by French, Italian, and yeah, Romance is only 0.5% of the population. So. All right, and just out of curiosity, Romance, what does that sound like? Does that sound like Italian, or...? It's, it's a mix of the three main languages, I would say, like a mix of German, French, and Italian, and I can catch a word here or there, but... 
Yeah, I don't really understand it. <laughs> and lastly, what, what part are you from in Switzerland? I'm from the German part. Okay. Yes. Oh, well, thanks, Anya. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Traffic was.